The only thing I hope for out of all this is that our journey continues. We are back with more Pokemon Ultra Sun. This is Mega Man NG, and previously we arrived at, well, rather in a way our journey towards the next island. Alright, so now we arrive at Route 4, the path that leads to Paniola Town. I need to start putting more time towards doing more daytime parts. And yeah, I give special thanks to Nintendo for this. And it seems now we found ourselves a Lillipop. A new one. Ain't that lovely. Now let's make sure we catch it and get it over with. And yeah, since we are a bit stronger anytime we battle weaker Pokemon, well, we get less experience for it. Honestly, in my opinion, that's actually a good thing. That way it doesn't make the game way too unfair. Though adding the experience share, well, really doesn't help either. That was not the best strategy. Wait, now what is it doing? Are you serious? You're gonna call more backup? Yes, expect a lot more backup to show up. All I wanna do is just catch a Pokemon, okay? And sometimes, if you're lucky, you may end up encountering rarer Pokemon, which can really force you to make a tough choice. Should I go after the one I'm after, or should I just, like, give it a shot and just pretty much get the Pokemon that I'm missing? And yeah, if you're watching it by this point, in a few days, I will be starting Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. Just letting you know that. Alright, now let's catch that little pup and get it over with. Regular catch, of course. Nice. Another Pokemon to add. But it also means we get more experience out of it. Alright, Lillipub's data can be added to the decks. I need to start getting a fire type and a water type to balance out this thing. Ruby. This Pokemon has excellent judgment. If it decides it can't defeat an opponent, it immediately turns tail and van mooses. Cute puppy. From black and white. At least it's always nice seeing that. And yeah, I know, there's a trainer battle up ahead, but I want to focus on capturing Pokemon first. Another Lillipop? No. I gotta make sure to also find whatever I'm missing. And if I'm lucky, I may as well have to start raising, like, a two-Pokemon team. That can be... that Their objective would be the weakened Pokemon, so that way I can be able to catch them. Come on, I've already seen enough Lola Pups as it is. Can we, like, move on? Yeah, and I know a lot of people are going to be complaining regarding the new Pokemon designs. Some of the designs can be rather questionable. Oh, this is nice. A Mudbray. Mudbray is a ground type. And these guys are real dangerous as ground types. Trust me, I know. Anyway, let's use a little bit of Psy Wave. Wow, it actually has stamina, which raises its defense. Wait, now what is it doing? If it's calling for backup, I'm not going to be... Oh, good. I hope it didn't show up. Now let's put it to sleep so that way I can weaken it a bit more. Good. Very good. It just made my work a little easier, of course. And yeah, putting it to sleep would also increase your chances of capturing it. Like, raises it up plus 10. Although, paralysis would raise it up to plus 5. Very good. We got Mudbray. Let's see what its data is like. Number 165. Why don't you check out just what kind of Pokemon it is that you caught? 
It loves playing in the mud. If it isn't showered with mud on a daily basis, it gets stressed out and stops listening to its trainer. An act of disobedience. Still hoping we can get our hands on a fire or a water type. Because that would really help if it did. Ah, oh, another pick a pack. It's been a while since I've seen you. I don't think there is anything else. I think maybe I should get my hands on a strategy guide for this. So that way I can figure out where every Pokemon is. But what the point would that be? I would just get it like, like look up on Cerebi and there, and there you go. That makes getting strategy guides would be kind of meaningless. Since these guys work just as hard. They've worked like for a mad long time. I think about like 16, 17 years. I still remember visiting Cerebi every now and then. Good times. I still check it out every now and then, ever since I got myself out of Pokemon Shuffle, and the only reason why I did was because the Shuffle save file got corrupted and it pretty much screwed screwed my micro SD. It was a 32 gig one. But I'm hoping to at least get a 64 GB for my new 3DS XL, because I want to transfer everything to it. And yeah, I'm still hoping to get my hands on a physical copy of the Ultra Sun because digital just won't do it for me. Just won't. And we're almost done finish filling up the first box. This one's a hardy nature, which is neutral. And this one's also hardy. Why do I get such poor luck with that? That's like mad lame. But anyway, yeah, we're still going strong with it. So yeah, I hope you guys don't mind that I switch between like day and night segments because yeah, I don't want it to be two night all the time because at night is the only time I can get work done. During the day I don't because well, I have to tend to my other priorities such as working on the gym and stuff like that. A challenger. You don't have to ring the bell. If our eyes meet, I'll come. Now remotely what I meant. And this guy is a bellhop named Jody. And he summons out a Femantis. Femantis are grass types, and then after a while they evolve into Lorantis. Don't worry, you'll, you'll manage. Let's deliver a little bit of foul play to this poor sap. A Razor Leaf Flurry. Well, it wasn't that tough. I always liked Razor Leaf more back in the previous generations because it would always do a critical hit every time, especially in Pokemon Stadium. Stadium 1 and Stadium 2. Having to hand over my pocket money rather than getting a tip. I feel bad for the guy. And this journey is a never-ending one, I assure you. More information. That I don't mind. Another mud bray. I caught you already. Figures it'd be dozing off. Come on, we still have work to do. And honestly, this game is really, really generous with the with all getting all more items and stuff like that. I wonder if this was done due to probably the mixed reception regarding Pokemon X and Y. I think it did because it kind of alienated a lot of people. Not to mention, I believe one of the creators didn't like it. I don't know all the answers to tell you the truth. Okay, so now what? At least we got our hands on a tiny mushroom. And there's a Femantis out there. I like that because it now adds a bit more life to the game. You know, these winding routes sometimes have secret little spots that are easy to overlook. You make a valid point there. And a trainer approaches. We'll have to go around to get the item first. And a Grubbin. Surprisingly, I own a Grubbin. Don't worry, my friend. You will do well. I only need to raise it 11 more levels, and then I gotta flip the 3DS upside down. 
another revive. How generous. Uh-oh. I am a collector, which is to say that I collect Pokemon. And collectors? I wonder how they fight. And they get him in Premier Balls. Up first is the Munchlax. Alright, Inkay, show them what you're all about, please. Especially with Contrary making the fight a heck of a lot more fun. Inke, use Psywave. Amnesia. It raised its special defense, raised it up by two levels. I am not the least bit impressed. Although your tackles are anything but. Fine, finish the job. Deliver a Psywave, please. That should do it. And now Inke's leveled up to level 20. And now he sends out Bagon. Oh, jeez. Dragon types. My girlfriend would so like that. All right, Grubbin, show him what you're all about. And yeah, my Pokemon are kind of high leveled. But what can you do, honestly, when they make the game, like, way too easy? Although I wonder if that's a necessity. Using Leer, huh? How about I deliver a nasty spark? Not effective, yes, but it'll have to do. His defense is already lowered down by two levels. Fine, acrobatics. He has no items, which means the base damage for it is just ridiculous. Gimme, gimme! Dude, what's your beef? No, seriously, what got yourself a bit feisty? Let us proceed. And it seems more trainers want to fight. Don't worry, they'll get plenty of it. What, surprised? I rely on apps for traveling recommendations. Apps for travel? Not for me. This one's a sightseer named Scotty. And this one's a regular Rattata. The regular ones are normal types, where the Alolan ones are dark types. Alright then, let's deliver an acrobatics to him. Yeah, that should do it. Take it now in one hit, I'd say. And Dartrix is now level 20. I guess I still haven't mastered the recommended Rattata. I also like in their defeated poses, they actually, they actually animate it. Well, there's one good thing that I enjoy. In my honest opinion, I'd say that's a good, a very good thing. Yep, another fight. I'm just a lost sightseer, always looking for my boyfriend. Isn't your boyfriend on the other side of the guy we just beat? You are challenged by Sightseer Perdita. And she sends out a regular Meowth. And like I mentioned before, Alola Meowths are dark types, whereas these are normal. I need to make sure to bring in my regular version kinds. Starts with a fake out. Well, that flinched. Not fun. Seriously, it bites? Nah, here's my counter-offensive. That one hurt. Good work. I'm just lost in battle, too. Always looking for a way to win. At least that was a fun one. Let's see what's up here on the other end. What's this place? That's a lot of Pikachu. This must be Pikachu Valley, 
a new area exclusive to Ultra Sun. Welcome to Pikachu Valley. That's what the Pikachu are saying anyway. You get a special th Pikachu themed present to celebrate your first visit to Pikachu Valley. We can now use a special Pikachu frame to decorate our photos. Decorate photos in your photo album with that and it'll always be Pikachu Valley in your heart. Appreciate it. Staring at me? There's a lot of Pikachu here. Well, for a village, they certainly weren't kidding. Though I may have to come by here down the line. Hmm, what's this? This magnet also boosts electric attacks. Pretty good. Welcome to Pikachu Valley. You need something? Pikachu Valley is a valley where a lot of Pikachu like to gather. Some of the Pikachu from this valley have even gone on to become stars. One of our greatest stars is enjoying a relaxing vacation at Hano Grand Resort right now, I hear. Interesting. Pikachu. What? Pikachu. I think this is his way of saying we can't enter. But we will be back here for a certain QR event that I will be showing off. At least they found each other. Alright, good. Now let's see what the rest of the place has in store. Oh yeah, more trainer tips. How nice. Alright, let's see what we got. Another Lillipop. I've already caught you already. Makes me wish I get some rarer Pokemon. And trust me, I still remember the time at Pokemon Sun when I was trying to catch one Pokemon and Elekid showed up, and trying to catch that was priority one. Hopefully I do the same here, and we got ourselves an Adrenaline Orb. Very good. Well, nothing here. But someone decides to get involved. Ain't that quaint. A pick a pack? Really? Not interested. Oh, a trainer. He wants a fight, you'll get one. Just wait. We also get an energy root. These items let you heal up, but they will make you not like you. You don't want that. Unless you wanted to learn frustration. But personally, I prefer return. And returns an attack when it's stronger, the more the Pokemon likes you. Anyway, let's move. Alright, you want to fight? Let's go. The first step to surpassing Captain Mallow is to straighten my Pokemon. You seem to know that a bit well. And this one is a cook named Ernie. And it summons a cutie fly. Okay, Grubbin. Show him what you're all about. Deliver the pain, my friend. Bring forth the acrobatics. Stun Spore flies. Uy, it's paralyzed. But that is not going to stop me from delivering massive amounts of damage. Yeah, go down. Let's get you healed up. Nobody deserves to go like that. I lost. Let me have another. You'll get your another when I say you do. Right now, I got to heal my friend. Yeah, and hopefully I'm making sure that my 3DS is charged, because I remember when I was playing Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga 3DS, I was so hooked on playing that game so much that I kept playing it until the battery died. It was, like, really embarrassing in a way. Alright, let's get our hands on some berries. Alright, very nice. 
Now let's head up here. It's time we enter Paniola Ranch. Hey, Jose. Glad I ran into you. So we can see who's stronger now. I got a Z-powering from my Gramps, too, after making it through his grand trial. Having a battle in a place like Paniola Town feels like we're in a real old-fashioned western showdown or something, right? This is so cool. Though if we're real honorable cowboys, we gotta make sure our teams are healthy first. Thank you. Alright team, Brianna and Pikachu and everybody, you gotta all be bursting with energy after eating a pile of my mom's special pancakes. So let's show this newbie that what Alola's got. If you're eager for a fight, my friend, I'm more than happy to give it to you. And he's got a Z-Ring. That's when you know right off the bat, this guy's got improvements. And I like how he just summons Brioni right away. That's cool. Alright, Grubbin. It's four on four, so we're pretty much an even, even playing field. Let's start things off. Deliver a nasty spark. What the? It's using disarming voice? You think that's impressive? Let me show you this. Deliver some pain. Go with some acrobatics. And that disarming voice is getting annoying. Not as bad as echoed voice. Echoed voice is more powerful. Aqua Jet? Nah, you're not gonna take him down that easy. Like that. Good work, my friend. You did great. Well done, Grubbin. He sends out Pikachu, huh? Fine, I'm taking no chances. Inke, show him how it's done. And it's level 15. Am I supposed to be the least bit impressed? No. Electro Ball. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, but it only does more damage if your Pokemon has, like, more speed when you... Oh, no. No, no, no. A strike by paralysis? That is so wrong. And yeah, since now it's faster, it's gonna deal more damage. Like, double the damage. Yeah, but you still get wrecked. Yeah, B. And now next up on the list is Noibat. And I send out my Trumbeak. Get him, Trumbeak. Show him what you're made of. Yeah, now it's a battle of birds. Yeah, that got him. Ah, that was too quick. Nice job. But I gotta wonder what else he has up his sleeves. He's, he has an Eevee. This just got a little more interesting than I thought it would be. All right, Dartrix, your call. Ominous Wind will probably not work, so I'm gonna have to use Razor Leaf on him. You prefer to strike hard, strike fast, huh? All right then, I can work with it the same way. That quick attack so ain't gonna work, pal. Eat this, good vibe. And I gotta get them all cleaned up. Nice, how'd you come up with that kind of battle plan? You gotta tell me. Wait a second. <laughs> Nice, now Grubbin has evolved in the Sharja Bug. Which brings up something that's gonna really bug me, I think. I don't know why, but it just is. Yeah. 
It buries itself in fallen leaves and barely moves, munching away on humus. If you accidentally step on one, you'll get a shock. Similar to how Voltorb operate. And this one gives a charge. But honestly, it has its right around a move, so I don't think I'm gonna need it. Give it up. Yeah, it's good as it is. And yeah, I also gotta make sure to take care of Inke. Because the paralysis certainly didn't help matters. And unlike when I did in Pokemon Sun, I am keeping this Charger Bug until we're able to reach Pony Island and make it a Vika Vault. Yeah, because this is pretty much one decision I'm not gonna regret either. Let's move on. Man, that was some kind of battle. Brianna and everyone else all look like they had a blast too. Right then, here, I'll share my bit of good luck with you. We gain a dire hit, nice. You know how the totem Pokemon are all like surrounded by some aura of power? If you use a dire hit on your Pokemon and manage to land a critical hit, that aura won't mean a thing. You might want to try using some of those Rotom powers when you're fighting a totem too. You know Pokemon battles are just like, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But you're only really a loser if you don't have any fun while you're at it, right? Anyway, I'm heading off to Paniola Ranch. See you later, Hal. I'm good for now. Yeah, I get you, Rotom. Mm, the smell of this area. It's very distinct, don't you think? You're right, and our objective now is to head up north. But first things first, let's get ourselves recovered. Because that fight really did took a lot out of us. I only hope that I don't bore you guys too much, because as much as I love enjoying these, really doesn't help that YouTube can sometimes be a pain in the keister. And yeah, considering that Charger Bug is now part electric, well, it's, yeah, it's Bug and Electric. It has the ability Battery. It powers up an ally Pokemon special moves, so it can actually be useful in double battles. And sadly, there are no triple battles here, because if there was, the game wouldn't even run properly. And that would stink to high heaven. Alright, I wonder what else is around a place like this. Nice, we got a totem sticker. We still have to get all 100. What the? Yo, yo, Lopix, give me that bottle cap! No. Please stop! Excuse me. What you looking at? What's this Pokemon need a nice bottle cap for? I'm just gonna put it to better use, that's all. You there, do you think you can help? Yeah. You want a piece of me? I'll show you what happens when you mess with Team Skull. These guys don't know when to give. And they truthfully do not. Great, so I gotta deal with another Mook. And yeah, that's what I'm referring to them as. Team Skull and their pack of Mooks. And yeah, dark type attacks are not going to work against it. So, the only thing I can do is just use a tackle attack. Psy Wave probably won't work either because, well, dark types have a strong immunity. What? It flinched? Oh dear, it's now getting pumped up now. Fine, let's deliver a serious taste of foul play. Not effective, but it did a heck of a lot of damage. Yeah, another taste of foul play for good measure. Nice knowing you, bub. You got a piece of me, and I guess I shouldn't have messed with you. You should have known better. It's all your fault, just because you wouldn't hand over that bottle cap. Yeah. 
Yo, you got lucky, Vulpix. Don't count on people to help you next time. Annoying. Oh, thank goodness. Everything's gonna be alright now. Huh? Oh dear, what's wrong? It just ran off like that. It'd make this old lady happy if you come back tomorrow, too. Sure. I'll see if I can drop by. But right now, we need to head up north. North up to the Paniola Ranch. So, we've arrived. But I guess it wouldn't hurt. Everyone who works on the ranch loves a good Pokemon battle. Like her, for instance. Eat well, sleep well, then it's time for a proper battle. I couldn't have said it better myself. And this one's a madam. I'm game. And it summons Carbink in a luxury ball. That's cool. NK, I'm leaving things to you. You Psywave. And Carbink, wait, you just smacked down. Not the most painful of ways, but my side wave will make mincemeat out of you. Goodbye. And I gotta make sure you get patched up too, because those rocks really hurt. And it learns the move Psybeam. I like side wave a lot more since pretty much it can deal like normal damage, like a set amount of damage. Plus, it makes it easier. I've had enough. I can't fight anymore. The reward we get was worth it. Let's get this sand off you, my friend. You only need nine more levels before I have to flip the 3ES upside down and level you up. Imagine how messed up that would be. I'm surprised everything's working flawlessly. I'm appreciative of that. You can head to the back, my friend. You earned it. Oh, you've got to be a trial goer, right? Well, you've got a good sense of timing. The captain's actually here now, so come on. Sure. Mill tank. Thanks for stopping by. The Moo Moo Mill from Panioma Ranch is the best. It's so rich and creamy when you use it in white sauce and other things. And the taste can't even be described. Oh, by the way, since I was lucky enough to run into you here, I'll do you a little favor. Nice, we got Stoutland registered to our writer pager. See, Stoutland can sniff out items for you that are buried in the dirt where you can't even see them. When you're writing Stoutland, press B to use the Stoutland surge is what it's all about. Get up there and try it. There's all kinds of stuff lying around waiting for you to find it. And Starkland will bow louder and louder the closer he has some item buried in the ground. If you go all the way down Route 5, you'll come out on Brooklyn Hill. My friend Lana's up there, so say hi to her for me if you see her. Let's go for a ride on Stalin and have a sniff around here. Good idea. Hmm? Oh, I see. So what basically pretty much is that this serves as, an I as the item finder. And we're getting items up the wazoo. Better for me, in my opinion, because I can at least take the time to look around, explore, and find what we need. Alright, good. We're getting some good items here and there. Those Pokemons that you can get from the cafes in the Pokemon Center are harvested from Poke Pelago. Did you know that? Well, now I do. 
Oh, fooey. This rock rough that my friend traded me won't obey my commands. All because I don't have that many stands from the Kahunas. An important lesson regarding traded Pokemon. Unless you're able to beat them, then they will not follow your commands. And it seems there's a trainer in on this. And as long as we're on one of these guys, we don't have to worry. Now we got three totem stickers. And we found ourselves a soda pop. How awesome. All right, let's see what Pokemon we'll find today. Hello, a Tauros. Here's something you guys should already know. Tauros are male, fail, mill tank are female. In other words, well, these two Pokemon are pretty special for a specific reason. All right, Trumbeak, use Echoed Voice. Horn attack. Jeez, that gotta hurt. Tauros are deadly with their attack strength. Although Miltang, to tell you the truth, is the bane of a lot of trainers' existence for obvious reasons. All right, let's catch it. Hopefully it doesn't become a pain in the butt. Oh, come on, dude. Really? Rage? Not effective. Okay, so Pokeballs won't work? This probably will. Hopefully this would make things up. Never mind. You know, that's not the best strategy to do this, right? Come on, please don't make this any harder than it already is. I'm gonna be reminded of the wishy-washy incident. Next part is Route 5, by the way, and the Brooklyn Hill Trial. Just saying. Really? I'm getting really upset and Trump beat goes down. That's sad. How dare you? You know what? I may as well do the next best... No, on second thought, I have to go with somebody fresh. Alright, Charger Buck, can you do me a nice big favor and keep him busy for a while while I revive my comrade? Where is it? There it is. Good. Terrifying scary face. And its speed stat goes down, harshly by two levels. Come on, Taros, please be nice with me. Please. Why? I do not want to raise my voice, I swear to you. If this is giving me bad vibes about the whole wishy-washy thing, wait, now what? Please don't send back up. Please don't bring in back up. Thank you. Come on. Please be nice with me, Tauros. I just want to catch you. That's it. Jeez Louise, why do you got to make this so hard? I'm already wasting a good five, six minutes trying to catch you, but all you're doing is being an annoyance. And it makes me wish I got a critical capture right about now. What? Jeez, are you kidding me? And all I can do is constantly use scary face. You're gonna make me waste a lot of money for this, you know that, right? Come on! Why do you gotta be such a pain in the keister? You know, I'd laugh if I were to use this. Fine, I'll just use a premium ball to see if that works. Nope. Come on, man, please don't make this any more worse than it already is. Dude, now I'm getting mad. I'm getting really angry here. All right. Come on. Please. Thank you. I wasted a good six minutes on this. If it was like wishy-washy, I'd be raising my voice right about now. But that ain't for me. Trust me.
least Dartrix leveled up. All right, finally, we got Tauros. Tauros is always so annoying to catch. Now we need to get Miltank. Very good. Very good. They live in groups. The one with the longest, thickest, and most scarred horns is the boss of the herd. Man, what an annoyance. What an annoyance that turned out to be. And all I wanted to do was to just catch a Pokemon. Was it really that hard? Seriously, game? This game at, at, at times can be mad, mad, mad unfair. Mad unfair, but what can you do? What can you do, to be honest? All right, much better. Hopefully, as the journey goes on, I can find myself some other Pokemon. Oh, Mudbray. Nice of you to drop by, but unfortunately, you are not my target today. And yeah, you also wonder why I don't upload the late at night, because most of my audience are either sleeping, or at some times they just don't know if I upload a video. Which is kind of sad in my honest opinion. I wish more people would watch, because yeah, I always deliver. Too bad YouTube does not see it that way. You know what? Forget it. What's the point of having to waste time? I can always worry about this in the morning. Since you guys know, I'm going to have to record a lot more in the morning. Anyway, let's con anyway, let us continue. We have a battle to go through. Are you raising Pokemon? I am. I am a Pokemon trainer after all. We take on Pokemon breeder Glenn. And he brings out a Mudbray. Go, my Trumbeak. Engage the enemy. Don't worry, my friend. This time I'm making sure I don't make the same mistake twice. Deliver the pain. Using Double Kick? You know it's only going to deal normal damage. See what I mean? Only hits twice. And I'm reminded of Nidoran male and female, I think. All right, good. That was a fun fight. Maybe in addition to providing care, raising means drawing out talents. Yes, that's true. Time to get you groomed up, Trumby. 50 Feel better? Good. Let's move out. The day continues onwards. Let's see what else we'll find. Wait. Nice, we found an X defense. And we get our sands in a paralyzed heal. Not bad. Hello, who do we have to fight this time? A Mareep. That's new. This game just gets a whole lot more interesting. I'll say it here. But I already have Charge of Bug. But I'm just gonna use Echoed Voice just to weaken it. It uses Thunder Wave! Not good! Why must this game be unfair? Fine, I'll just use Rock Smash to weaken you. Night. Wait, it's using Cotton Spore! Paralysis must reduce speed. Equals unable to do anything. I have like a speed of minus two. Plus paralysis cuts your speed in half. That's bad. Excellent. We got you at last, Mareep. We're gonna make sure he gets cleaned up too. Let's make sure Mareep's added to the decks. This one's number 162. I still have a lot to do. Clothing made from Mareep's fleece is easily charged with static electricity, so a special process is used on it. Hmm. 
All right, let's get this paralysis out of your system, my friend. Much better. Feel better? Good. Let's move out. And things have gotten a bit too quiet. And we get ourselves a super repel. Really? Okay, so who else I gotta cross paths with this time? Another Lillipup. I'm at this point fed up with doing all these battles. And I still need to find me some water and fire, a water and a fire type so I can raise them. At least the music here in the ranch is just pretty enjoyable. All right, let's head up north, and we're about to meet up with the rest of the crew. All right, let's do one more check, and then we move on. Yep, yeah, figure that was a bad idea. All right, let's move. Careful, kid. Looks like your team could use a trip to a Pokemon Center. As if I already knew that. This must be the nursery. Alright. I'm a Pokemon nursery lady. I help take care of the Pokemon of trainers like you. Lately, for some reason, I see some Pokemon holding eggs. It's mysterious, isn't it? If you want to take care of your Pokemon, please speak to my sister inside the building. Noted. All right, let's use Stoutland again. Wait, what's this? Wait, who's this? Winning in a Pokemon battle is easier than fixing my truck. You wanna bet? And we're up against the rising star, Micah. All right then, game on. All right, Trumbeak, time to go in the battle. Show them what you're all about. Deliver the pain. Take down? What? What's this? It's down already! Well, that was unexpected. And it sends out Magnemite. Fine, I'll use Inke for this since Psywave can actually pierce through defenses. And they actually nerf Steel types. I had a Magnemite when I did my play through a Pokemon Sun. I don't regret it, truthfully. But an Ultra Sun, to be fair, I just wanted to have it be like the way it should be. Psy Wave attack. And it's using Thunder Wave. Are you serious? Great. It's paralyzed. What more do you want? And it's using Thunder Shock. Not as effective, but... At least my sideway will finish you off. Goodbye. And Trumbeak is now level 21, and it wants to learn the move Roost. Sometimes some Pokemon can be able to learn certain skills without the need of TMs. And some skills end up as TMs. I would have won if I didn't lose. Well, maybe if you would have won if you had a better plan. Anyway... All right, NK, you're back to normal. Now I only need a few more levels before I hopefully have to flip the 3DS upside down, which truthfully is something I've never done before. All right, we got a big mushroom. Wait, so where am I supposed to go on the map? Yeah, I get the point. We get a heal ball. That's nice. Oh, let's check the map. No, not the Pokedex. I mean the map. Oh, whatever. Let's move on. 
Am I supposed to go down or am I supposed to go up? Wait, we got another trainer that wants to fight? Alright then. Alright, Troll Gore, have a look at my kid. And we're challenged by a gentleman named Gerald. Alright then, my friend. He brings out a Sableye. A Pokemon that has no weaknesses. It had no weaknesses ever since it came out in Generation 3. That is until Gen 6 came around and decided, you know what, we're just gonna screw that and just pretty much gave it a weakness anyway. Well, what do you know, it assumed the protective pose. Fine, how about this? You know, that's not the best strategy. Again? A repeat performance will not work. Yeah, there you go. That got him. You need to do a little harder next time. You're growing rapidly. That's wonderful. There's another random spot. Let's fire up the Poke Finder. Yeah, but most of the time, sometimes other Pokemon may show up, but for the time being, this is all we got. Yeah, we don't have version 2 ready yet. Alright, one shot will pretty much do. Besides, I only need one. Yep. Yeah, I know. Current thumbs up. Good enough. Good. Now it gets the version 2. Very nice. Now I can zoom in on things. Which is gonna help me out. And speaking of which, we may as well take one little extra picture for good measure. The zoom function has been added. We can press up and down the control pad to change how far we can zoom out. Now this is a better shot. But I don't see anything else. Yeah, let's move on. I think we've seen all we need to see. Let's show this. Come on, let me show the picture. There, that's a much better shot, and now we get a better high score than that. And we need to get 10,000 thumbs up in order for us to actually get, like, a version 3 upgrade. Hopefully it also means we can zoom even further, but who knows. Yo, we already on our ride on Stoutland, and this way's blocked. So the only way we can be able to keep going is up. You'll find Brooklyn Hill at the end of Route 5. That's where Captain Lana does her trial. And you're right. This is where we're going to stop here, surprisingly enough, because next episode, we will be heading through Route 5 and tackling the first of three trials we need to complete in Akawa Island. So that is going to be it for this part of Pokemon Ultra Sun. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you did, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. And I will see you guys next time. Let's see if we can reach our goal of 15 likes. Because I've been noticing that you guys aren't liking the video enough. If we hit more, I will upload more. I mean it. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. Now if you'll excuse me, I need some rest.